All right, y'all, I got about a five, six pound bass here, man, that was sitting on ice for a little while. Took me a while to get to it, but we're gonna fillet it today. Big Mac fillet of fish, quarter pound of french fry, ice and coke, milk shake, sundaes, and apple pie. Hey. <laughs> Big Mac fillet of fish, this the real fillet of fish right here. Yo, I used to be intimidated by filleting fish, so I never really filleted a fish before ever. And this is my first fish I ever filleted. And I pretty much like the process. It's easier than I thought. All right. Gonna put my fillets in here. Now I gotta go to the store and buy some veggies. Now, but first, let's return this fish back to nature. These remains. Gonna throw them back into the pond, return them back to the ecosystem. Now, when you're walking around these ponds, y'all, you want to be careful of logs and everything because you got cotton mouths, water moccasins that blend in very well with the environment. Normally, you can tell they're around because they give up a give off a musky smell. And when you smell that musky smell, then you can kind of look around and no one is in the area hey, imagine running up on something like that as a kid in this very pond i had some fish on the string in the water to keep them alive while i was fishing and when i looked down i seen a big water moccasin wrapped around the fish the man. Get from when he here. saw me it just skirted back down to the bottom all right something to eat them all right y'all had to check my engine oil first you got to know how to cook with cooking oil and how to put motor oil in your car. I be doing a lot of procrastinating, so it was daytime when I left. And it was nighttime when I returned. <laughs> Chef Anthony Albritton here, the Carolina cook. Cooking, tasting, and eating the Carolinas. Okay, in this episode, my dad caught a bass. He's an avid fisher. And, uh, he caught so much fish, had the freezer so full of fish that he had to get rid of a lot of it. But it was this big bass, one big bass that I had special plans for. So I held on to it for a little while. And I finally decided to thaw it out today and uh, fillet it and cook it up today. And guess what? This is actually my first time filleting a fish. Never filleted a fish. <laughs> You know, some people may say, what kind of chef are you if you never filleted a fish? Well, that's easy. A new one. <laughs> you know, I, I'm new to this. It's only been a little over a year. I mean, I'm new to this. Just been a couple months since I graduated culinary school, okay? All right. Now... So in this episode, I will be filleting that bass and uh, pan searing it, just cooking it in the pan on the stove top. And I will be making a broccoli and shrimp salad. Yes, a broccoli and shrimp salad is a thing. And whipping up a, a nice citrus sauce to go along with the bass. All right, welcome to my Carolina kitchen. But before we get started, if, if you, you know, know the, the song, song, it's the Carolina pre-devein red wild caught shrimp all i'm doing now is cleaning them up getting ready to peel them all right y'all i'm getting ready to blanch some broccoli here so i'm going to go ahead and you know cook them in some chicken broth and season that chicken broth with some salt and pepper i'm gonna let these cook you cook them for about one minute if you want them to be a little crunchy you cook them for about two minutes if you want them to be tender okay after blanching this broccoli and some ice cold water. I'm going to go ahead and drain it. 
Unbelievably nice and tender. Okay, I'm going to sit these to the side until I'm ready to add the shrimp and make the salad. Let's season the shrimp before we saute it. Gonna hit the top side before I put them in the pan. Then flip them and hit the bottom side. I got some red lobster seafood seasoning. I'm not using any measurements tonight, okay, y'all? And most chefs will tell you to only season your seafood with salt and pepper, but no, this the South, baby. That's a Mediterranean magic seasoning. And a little black pepper. And of course, while your bottom season side is cooking, you want to season the top side as well. You know, that's how that goes. All right, y'all, now that this shrimp is blackened, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to the broccoli. And I'm going to just leave it there to cool down until I'm ready to finalize the salad. Okay, I'm applying the same seasoning to the fish that I used on the shrimp. I used every seasoning on the fish that I used on the shrimp, with one exception. I added the Chef Albert and seafood seasoning to the fish. Side down, Chef Albert seafood seasoning enhances your seafood. The minute I put my seasoning on there, the, the whole aroma changed, and that's how it enhances. I'm going to season the top with the same seasoning. Now, pan sear takes about two to three minutes. Two to three minutes on each side. So you sear the first side, you sear one side until it's golden brown and caramel caramelized around the edges. All right. All right, let's get started on our salad. Gonna throw a little onions in there. Okay, then I'm gonna lop a spoonful of uh, minced garlic in there. About a half a cup of mayonnaise. Trust me, y'all, eventually I got the mayonnaise out of there. Once it's in there, you just wanna fold everything th together, stir it up. You don't want to go wild with this salad and overcomplicate it. The broccoli and the shrimp and everything with the onions and the garlic tastes fine on its own. You don't really have to add anything to it. Only thing I did was put a little salt and pepper in it. That was it. Okay, now I'm getting started on the sauce that I'm making for the bass. Y'all, this sauce is totally experimental. Okay, I'm going to start by sauteing some onions, minced garlic, and ginger in vegetable oil. Man, that's smelling good already. So, this might come out all right, okay? Let's add some pineapple juice. Some soy sauce. Just a little bit. That's a high salt content right there. Squeeze a fresh orange in there. to it all right that's a good reduction i'm gonna turn this heat off got ourselves a good nice little sauce here now let's go ahead and get us a plate presented all right this sauce got a nice citrus tangy taste to it it's gonna complement the bass real good now see how you can just take some good old country fish out of some South Carolina waters and just turn it into a gourmet meal. Like down south, man, sometimes nature is our grocery store. Straight like that. Straight out of some fresh water in the deep south. I've created a 30, 40 something dollar plate. Down south, we got cooks, but I just so happen to be a chef too. See how that sauce thickened up? See that? Some nice consistency on the sauce. There you have it, folks. Nice, fresh, caught bass. 
broccoli and shrimp salad garnished with some fresh parsley. All right, y'all know what it is before you dig in and destroy your food. You want to say your grace and you want to do what? Take those pictures. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Y'all look so good together, man. Y'all a perfect match, man. Okay, y'all. Ain't no other way to eat a classic than with plastic. So I got that plastic. I ain't talking about a credit card. I'm here to eat it, not pay it. Pack it with salt and pepper. We don't need that. All right. So y'all, check it out. Gonna get at a taste. <laughs> do -do -do -do. Or you can get a taste. Or you can get a taste. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm need I'm gonna need the knife for this one. This one fancy. Yeah, we'll do the fish first. I give my compliments to the chef on this one. Now let's get this shrimp and broccoli salad. You, you hear the word shrimp and broccoli salad? You may think, man, what the heck is that? Tell you what, it's it's a good uh, side dish. Or even if you want to eat it by yourself, it's great. Remember, if you're not happy, you just might not be eating good. Till next video. Salute. Thank y'all for watching. I'm gone. Wait. Can't leave without this, though. show y'all something. I plated my leftover salad, right? Now, let me show you how this go. Ain't no to-go trays around here. Put one plate on top like so. Put it off in that bag. Tie it real tight. Get that ear out of it. Tie it real tight. Bam. That's your hood to go tray. Bam. What y'all know about it? Now I'll see y'all next time. Me and my salad. Gonna go ahead and get out of here. The fish didn't make it. But I got some salad left over. We're gonna freeze this up. Then you got to tie that extra knot in it so nobody mess with it. That's like the burglar alarm. Like it, share it thou the love, and subscribe unto my channel. And smite it that notification button. Thank you.